Baby positions during pregnancy. During pregnancy, a developing fetus will move into several positions. As labor approaches, most turn so that their head is down. If a fetus is lying horizontally, a cesarean delivery may be necessary. The ideal position for a fetus just before labor is the anterior position. The fetus faces the pregnant person's back and the head points toward the ground. Most fetuses settle into this position by the last month of pregnancy. The anterior position is also known as the vertex, cephalic, or occipitate anterior position. The position may reduce the chances of complications during pregnancy. Learn more about this and other fetal positions. Keep watching this video. Anterior position. The best position for the fetus before delivery is the anterior position. Most get into this position before labor begins. The fetus's head is down in the pelvis, facing the pregnant person's back. The fetus's back faces the person's belly. This means that the fetus's head can tuck in with the top pressing down on the cervix. This encourages it to open during labor. Depending on where in the womb the fetus is, the doctor or midwife may describe the position as left occipit anterior or LOA or right occipit anterior or ROA. Posterior position. This is known as the back to back position. The fetus's head points down and its back rests against the pregnant person's back. In this position, it can be difficult for the head to tuck in. This can make passing through the smallest part of the pelvis more challenging and lead to a slower labor and a back ache for the pregnant person. A fetus may be more likely to end up in this position if the person spends long periods sitting or lying down, which may be the case if a doctor recommends bed rest. The back of a fetus's body is heavier than the front. A person can encourage the fetus to roll into the ideal position by leaning in the direction in which they want the fetus to move. Transverse lie position. This involves the fetus lying horizontally. Most do not remain in this position in the weeks and days leading up to labor. If a fetus is still in this position just before birth, a cesarean delivery will be necessary. Otherwise, there's a risk of medical emergency known as umbilical cord prolapse. It involves the umbilical cord entering the birth canal before the baby. Breach position. In a breech position, the baby is positioned with its buttocks or feet facing downward instead of the head. This is different from the more common vertex or cephalic position where the baby's head is down and ready to enter the birth canal first. Breech presentations occur in about 3 to 4% of full-term pregnancies. There are three different types of breech positions. Frank breech. In a frank breech position, the baby is positioned with the buttocks down and the legs extended straight up in front of the body with the feet near the head. The baby's head is typically higher up in the uterus. This position gives the appearance of the baby sitting with its legs pointing upward towards its head, creating a characteristic V-shape. Complete breech. In a complete breech position, the baby is positioned with the buttocks down and the knees bent, so the feet are close to the buttocks. Unlike the frank breech position where the baby's legs are pointing upwards towards the head, in a complete breech, the baby is sitting cross-legged. Footling breech. In a footling breech position, one or both of the baby's feet are positioned to come out first during delivery. This is a specific type of breech presentation where the baby's feet are leading the way instead of the head. In some cases, a footling breech position can increase the risk of complications during childbirth, and healthcare providers may opt for a cesarean section to ensure a safer delivery.